<laughs> hey, welcome to This Verse That, the thing on the internet where sometimes I care, and other times, I don't. Last week on This Verse That, we took a look at what was worse an alien invasion or a zombie apocalypse. You should go watch the video to find out what I decided. This week on This Verse That, it was only a matter of time before we got the, the opportunity to take a look at this. What's worse? Taking a poop at your home or taking a poop somewhere else? Real groundbreaking stuff that we're doing here. M the most people wanted this, so don't blame me when I make too many videos about stuff. So, you want to know what's worse? Pooping here or pooping there? Well, let me tell you. When you poop outside of your house, at anybody else's house, there are so many things that can go wrong. There's a huge list of things that could go wrong, and you already know the list, so I'm not going to read it off to you. But when you poop at home, any problems that come from your gigantic dump are now your problems. You can't leave and pretend like it never happened. Well, th th you can, but then you just have this gross place to sit. Dumping at a friend's house is a great way to lose friends. Your volume and your smell and your loudness are all contributing factors into people not wanting to be your friend anymore. But I mean, when you poop at home, you get the same thing, just nobody's gonna want to come over again. Unless you're one of those 007 dumpers who crap and are real secretive about it. So, I asked you guys what you thought was worse, taking a dump at your house or taking a dump at a friend's house, and you guys had some opinions. Pooping at your mate's house is worse because if it makes a loud splash, you can't really play it off. It sounds like a tidal wave. Let me give you a little a trick of the trade to take care of that issue. What you always want to do is put a layer of toilet paper down in the water. It's like a, a cushion and it, it completely silences any flop. I, um, that doesn't really work for me anymore because I drink so much coffee that it doesn't really plop. It just kind of sprays up above the water on the side of the bowl. Episode of Forensic Files where they demonstrate what it's like to hit someone with a hammer. <laughs> Pooping at someone else's house is always worse because they can always tell that you've pooped. No matter what you do. What is it that you do? Are, are you not just pooping? What, what else are you doing in there that they would know that you've pooped based on what you've done? Pooping at home is worse because why would I want to clog my own toilet? It's this guy. You know what a walk of shame is? You mean like when you. you you bang a guy and then you gotta walk home? Yeah, like in the morning, but the walk of shame where you gotta ask somebody whose house you're at for a plunger is like 50 times more embarrassing. <laughs> Pooping at somebody else's house is worse because if you clog the toilet, you either gotta A, tell them, or B, jump out the window. I think risking a broken leg is way worse than them finding out that you were the one that did the deed. Also, why is it whenever you're at home, your poop, it feels like a regular amount, and you never have to worry, but whenever you're at somebody else's house, it feels like a dump truck load, and you're always worried that the toilet's gonna clog. Some kind of weird dumping anxiety, I guess. Somebody should write a, a psychology book about it. As long as there's enough toilet paper, I don't care where I am. That's right, because if you don't have enough toilet paper, that's how you get ruined bath towels. When there isn't enough toilet paper, it's kind of like it's kind of like being in a house fire where you got to start taking inventory of things that are important to you and things that you you don't mind losing. That's how my girlfriend lost her cute little socks. If she really cared about them, they wouldn't have been in the bathroom. Pooping at somebody else's house is worse because you never know if they have cameras watching you. You know, everybody wants to see you poop. That's why you should always poop with the door open so you don't have to worry about cameras. Pooping at your own house is worse because the smell lingers and you have to deal with that. I know, why would you ever want to deal with that alone? Always poop at a friend's house so you can have the experience and share it together. There was once a time when we had somebody over um, who went to our bathroom, and I swear to God, he wasn't in there that long, but for like two days after, we were worried that we might have had a gas leak. It just, the whole downstairs had an aroma of methane, and I called, Union Gas, and they, they said everything was fine, so I have no other explanation. Pooping at somebody else's house is worse, because if there's no toilet paper, I don't want to have to explain why there's a big shit stain on the shower curtain. Pooping at somebody else's house is worse, because I always feel like I'm being judged on my poop time. You know, uh, when you go to the bathroom, 
everybody secretly starts a stopwatch. Uh, it doesn't matter how long you take, they're always concerned. Always. They may not bring it up, but um, they definitely notice you've been gone a while. Pooping at your own home is worse because then you gotta deal with the mistake that you ate Taco Bell. Hey, eating Taco Bell is never a mistake. Pooping at your own home might be, but uh, Taco Bell is never a bad idea. I don't even, I don't care what it does to my body or my toilet bowl. I will eat it all the time, forever. Pooping at somebody else's house is worse, because loud plops and it smells, and it's always awkward. It may be a, an exciting pooping environment, but I'd rather leave the door open, if you know what I mean. And trust me, I do know what you mean. It's like, it's like a little fe feeling of dominance. For everybody else in the house, they gotta know what you're doing. And if they walk by, they're gonna learn real quick. Obviously pooping at your own home is worse, because when you poop at somebody else's house, you mark your territory, and you gain land. You know what, that, that's enough. I think I've figured out, I've made a decision on which is worse. And pooping at everybody else's house is worse, because it's just, just embarrassing for people to learn your smells. It's, it's not a comfortable feeling to have, to, to, for people to know that you've been dumping at their house. I don't care if they come to my house and they find out that I've been dumping, because it's, it's just normal. But to do it at somebody else's house, it's just, it's just a weird feeling of uncomfortableness and everybody knows. So uh, I don't know if you agree or disagree with me, but you can leave your comment below letting me know. It's not gonna change anything. Uh, and if you've got anything that you want us to debate out on the next This Versus That, also leave it in a comment below. And if people like it up to the top, I'm more likely to do it. And if you want to get your say in on the next This Versus That, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, because that's where I normally ask, you, you dingus. Um, and other than that, I've got a merch store where there's gonna be some new shirts popping up soon. That'll be the link in the description, districtlines.com slash mattg124. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. <laughs> For whatever, uh, whatever I'm doing then. I need a cat. Doon, 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 do